Let's now shift our attention to the United States. The coronavirus situation in the U.S. is worsening by the day, and more than 3 million people have been infected, with hundreds of thousands dead from this disease. Meanwhile, the U.S. President Donald Trump's response to the pandemic has been severely criticized by one and all. His approval ratings among the Americans have now hit an all-time low, to the extent that even his own party is less inclined to back him as of now. Support for the U.S. president's handling of the coronavirus pandemic has fallen drastically. According to a new survey, a majority of Americans, almost 67 percent, have disapproved of Trump's response to the pandemic. Only about 33 percent of Americans have approved of Trump's coronavirus response. Donald Trump remains reluctant. He continues to downplay the threat of the virus. His main focus, however, remains to resume work on the American economy. Eighty percent of small businesses are now open. Eighty percent. And we think we're going to have some very good numbers in the coming months because others are opening. And especially as we put the flame out, getting rid of the flame is happening. Not just coronavirus, the Americans also disapprove of the way that Donald Trump has handled the race issue. Amid protests against police brutality in the wake of George Floyd's death, only 32 percent people approve of Trump's handling of race. The president's diminished approval ratings come as the twin national crises have ravaged the United States. There is a resurgence of coronavirus infections across the South as well as the West in the United States. And the surge in COVID-19 cases have coincided with America's painful reckoning with racial prejudice in policing as well as other facets of American life.